All right, Alan, if it seems like we are alerting you to more and more severe weather threats in recent years, that's because we are. Last year was the most active year for tornadoes in Alabama since 2011. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Karis, so far this year, we're continuing the trend of increased tornadic activity. That's right, Andrea Kim. The last time we saw numbers this high was 12 years ago, when many parts of the state saw significant damage. In 2022, Alabama was hit hard with tornadoes, many people still recovering from the storms. Well, my roof came off, as you can see, and uh, the ceiling is all caved in. I've got, uh, it's a total loss. I was just thankful I was still here. Two people who were affected by an EF3 tornado in Tibby back in November. You could feel the suction of the house moving a little bit. That had to be really scary. What were the emotions and feelings going through your mind as this was happening? This might be the end. You know, it's it was it's been devastating. In data released by the National Weather Service in 2022, there were 98 tornadoes that touched down throughout the state. That makes the year 2022 the second most active year for tornadoes in Alabama. We did see more tornado watches and warnings last year than it uh, seems that we have in the previous years uh, seems to be a trend where our numbers are increasing. We are seeing um, more structural damages than we have over the past several years. 2022 was just 47 tornadoes short from beating the record of tornadoes in 2011, 60 of which took place on April 27th of that year. And the 2023 tornado season has already kicked off. The National Weather Service has confirmed 28 tornadoes so far this month. EMA Director of Clark County Roy Waite says that's concerning. We go through periods that we see more than others. Um, it is a little concerning that we're seeing as many tornado watches and warnings uh, in the month of January already. Um, I don't remember that being a month that we normally see them. He says it's important to stay weather aware because they expect the storm to roll through overnight. Kim. Karis, thank you. We're going to bring Chief Meteorologist Alan Sills back into this conversation. Alan, is there any rhyme or reason for this increase in activity? Oh, right now, the short answer is no. Uh, weather is a bunch of things that happen, and then you take an average. And what we always remember is the average. We don't remember the big ups and the big downs. Unfortunately, it's been a big up recently. Okay, now, as we saw in Karis' story, 28 confirmed tornadoes in January so far statewide. Is that concerning or is that normal? It's neither, actually. It's just part of those big jumps and downs, and you think of it as a, a sporting event. You can be in the lead in the first quarter. Doesn't mean you're going to win the game, but in the case of tornadoes, it's literally a week-by-week, case-by-case setup as to how many we might have.